So guys, uh, our today's question is uh, the difference between blocking and non-blocking assignments. And they can also ask this question uh, like how to swap values between two variables using blocking and non-blocking assignments, right? So we can explain the difference between blocking and non-blocking uh, assignments using the swapping value example, how to swap the values, right? So we will see the example. So let's say module name is top and module uh, take some variable let's say uh, variable is rest type and the width is 4 so that is 3 down to 0 a uh, next is reg 3 down to 0 b and let's take one more variable like reg 3 down to 0 c and uh, let's say give some values let's say the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 10 right initial begin and inside that now the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 10 so we have to swap these values means uh, we have to write uh, such code so that the value of a become 10 and the value of b become 5 right so for that what we can do simply we can write c is equal to or c blocking a means value of a will be updated into c right now we can write b is equal to c so now value of c will be updated to b right and now what we have done till now the value of a so a is stored into the c and here we are storing the value c into the b right but it will banish the value of b so to avoid that thing what we can do because we already take the backup of value of a inside the c now what we can write we can write first because now my a is useless or we can say a is empty so although it is not empty but the we have already taken the uh, value backup of a inside the c so now here we can write a is equal to b actually means value of b will be updated into a now we can write b is equal to c means value of c will be updated to b right so here we stored the value of a inside the c now uh, we stored the value of b inside the a and now uh, in our last step what we have done we have uh, stored the value of c that means the value of a towards the b right now just uh, give some delay let's hash one nanosecond after that we can write dollar display here uh, we can write uh, we can write after after and uh, a is equal to percentile b d b is equal to percentile d a and b the same thing we can write over here 
and here we can write b4. So, we have done the coding part. So, let us run the code and we will see whether it is working or not. It is giving some error uh, line number 8 near C, uh, 6, 7, 8. Uh, C is equal to A. Okay, we forget the semicolon. And here also semicolon. So now we can see before a is equal to 5, b is equal to 10 because we initialize the value a is equal to 5, b is equal to 10. Same is here and after means after uh, performing these steps, it is giving a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5. So now they have changed their value, they have successfully swept their values, right. So uh, this is the one way, one style using blocking. Right. Now, we will see, uh, we will perform the same operation using non-blocking assignments. So, write simply module top <coughs> and module inside that take reg. 3 down to 0 a reg 3 down to 0 that is b uh, can initialize the values like is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10. Now because uh, we are using non-blocking assignments, so there is no need for third variable like c like in our previous example right. So simply write initial begin and so before it will print this value and simply we can write <coughs> a non blocking b and b non blocking a just to give some a small delay. We have done. Now, what is the mean of that? Means how uh, they are performing. When we are uh, using, uh, you know, uh, non-blocking assignments, so what uh, uh, the backend process is, first of all, it will take the value of B and put inside some temporary register automatically. Similarly, in next step, it will pick the value of A and put some another temporary register internally, right? And when it gets some delay or when the all statement of uh, inside uh, initial means inside begin and executed means at this time, the value of B was previously stored in a temporary register. Let us say the temporary register was temp1. So, from temp1, it will automatically uh, stored into the A and let us say the value was stored in some uh, automatic uh, automatically in backend somewhere in backend the temporary register temp B. So, it will uh, take B will take the value from temporary to resistor right. So, uh, here we have used uh, some third variable 
uh, C or B can uh, uh, take uh, B can say uh, like uh, this is one of our temporary register to hold the value temporarily. But when we are using non-blocking assignments, so our tool will know that how they will get executed. So it, it will automatically uh, take the value of B and put in some internal register, take the value of A and put some another internal register and when the, all the statement will execute it or there is some kind of delay. So here it is the delay. So at this point, the value of this temporary register will be stored into the A and from another temporary register, the value will be stored to the B. right? So now let us run this code. So as you can see, before the value of A was 5 and B was 10 and after execution of these two steps, the value of A will become 10 and the value of B will become 5. So the value are, are swept successfully, right? Thanks for watching this video.